Hello everybody and welcome to today's Destiny video. So, House of Wolves is literally upon us tomorrow to be exact, and we have a lot to do. Well, a lot of you probably have a lot to do, uh, including faction edging, um, crucible mark getting, vanguard mark getting, all that stuff. Um, obviously everybody has all the engrams they need at the moment, but I saw a Reddit post about what kind of weapons you should buy before they're gone forever. Um, theoretically. So obviously things can still drop in packages and things in the future, we think. Obviously we don't know that, but we think that is the case. So this is all the stuff you should buy before House of Wolves, if you have the marks laying around. So I'm going to go run to the different places now, we're going to start with New Monarchy. Okay, so we're at New Monarchy now, let's have a look at his stock. So the only thing you actually want to be looking at here is the Vanquisher. This gun is a really good assault rifle. Um, hopefully when they buff assault rifles again, this is a beast. It's one of the best assault rifles off the bat in the game with fitted stock and glass half full. Um, spray and play is okay, but all the rest are just so good. This gun is so good. It's got um, RS1, RS which is amazing scope as well. This gun is a certain must buy if you have the marks available. Next up we've got Future War Court. Now this suggestion is only really valid if you don't have a good hand cannon. This hand cannon is okay, it's a medium hand cannon really, um, it's kind of just an average gun. It's got field scout so that 6 magazine is kind of irrelevant, obviously that makes these two perks completely redundant. Um, Grenadier is okay and Spray and play is okay too. It also has short, short shot IS, which is a really good, really good sight for target acquisition. Um, so this gun is kind of just an average hand cannon. If you haven't got anything better, like the Devil, you know, or the Red Hand Nine. Now the last of the three factions is Dead Orbit. Now the only suggestion I have here also is the Deviant Gravity A. This gun is such a solid machine gun if you haven't got anything better or if you haven't got a Jolder's Hammer. It's just a really good gun in PvP and PvE. It can have it has surplus so you can find more ammo for it. Um, hammer Forge is okay um, but Skip Round is good too. Also Spray and Play is obviously okay as well but these, these it's just one of those guns where it's just a solid gun just good for all round activities. Obviously most people have better guns than this now but if you haven't if you're like, if you jump on every now and again, and you can't really, you can't really get all weapons in the game, then this is a gun for you. It's a really good gun. You're probably better off waiting for a package, like leveling up your actual Dead Orbit rank, and getting um, a random one. Like I've got quite a few of them actually from my Dead Orbit packages, which are actually way better than that one. So next up, we have the Vanguard guy, which is actually like really conveniently placed right here. So right here, we have. The Secret Handshake, which is an amazing gun. This gun is just insane. It comes already packed with Hammerforged. Now, in the House of Wolves, Hammerforged won't exist anymore. So it, there's even more reason to buy this gun. It also comes with Shock Package um, and Accurized Ballistics, which increases the range even further. So that makes the range insane on this gun. This gun is easily one of the most must-buy guns of this whole lot. Like, completely. Also, right next to it is the LDR. This gun is also amazing. I have one of these, and I have two other random rolls on it as well, both with final round. Um, but this one is still my baby. Unflinching is just so nice on this kind of weapon. Along with uh, armor-piercing rounds, which is also nice. Obviously, um... It's not as good as it used to be since they nerfed over penetrating rounds. I mean, um, yeah, over penetrating over penetrative rounds. Also, Clown Cartage is also a really nice perk to have. You can sometimes spawn with five ammo instead of four. Obviously, and it's also got the ambush scope, which is always really nice for anything which isn't combined arms. So this gun is already an all-round amazing gun. Okay, so now we're at the Crucible Quartermaster and looking at the final guns I think you should buy. So, first up, we've got three little words. This gun is a monster. Look at those stats. Just look at those stats. And then we've got Head Seeker, which is awesome. Body shots with this weapon increase precision damage for a short time. So this is basically like the new Fate of All Falls exotic, but on a pulse rifle. 
which is awesome. And then it's got fitted stock for extra stability and third eye. This gun is a PvP monster and you should certainly pick it up if you have the marks. Next up we've got the City Rapier which is also a monster in PvE. It's got the perks that make the Fatebringer so good. Firefly and Outlaw. Now obviously it doesn't have the arc damage but it is still awesome. Now obviously 13 in the mag isn't great but these stats easily make up for that. That high impact, low rate of fire, huge range and stability is just really really good to have on this kind of gun. This gun is really good. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. You need to get this gun as well. Last but not least, I would suggest buying this little beauty. Now, this is the Longbow Synthesis. It's a really nice looking gun, if I don't say so myself. And it also has Field Scout, which only increases it by one. However, it... <sighs> Five in a mag is fine, to be honest. But you may as well just use that, because obviously these other two perks aren't great. Obviously Mulligan isn't great either and Spray and Play is probably one of the only good ones on here. Now the reason I'm telling you to pick up this gun is just because it's such an all-rounder. It's such a good all-rounder gun. The stability is insane. You can obviously increase it with the ambush. So this gun is also a really good gun if you haven't got anything better. So that is it for my suggestions guys. Hopefully House of Wolves is kind to us with the weapons it is offering. Obviously, a lot of us have seen the weapons already, um, but I, I really like the old weapons. I don't know what it is. The, we the new weapons, I don't know what it is about it. It's like the new Pokemon, isn't it? You just, there's always those people who hate all the new Pokemon. So, if you thought this was helpful in any way, please like it, comment on it, subscribe to my channel. All of that jazz, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Guardians.